Hello everybody, we continue with the Ma'amar Ha'arvut of Rabbi Yudha Ashlag, Seif Kavdalet. And it says, L'fikach b'toch ha'achrach ha'amur, Itna Torah b'yichud, The Torah was given specially La'uma Yisraelit, to the Jewish nation, to the Israelite, uh, who came from the roots of Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. And of course, Kabbalistically, when it means they came from Avram, Isaac, and Jacob, meaning that you have the three column system there. Okay? The Chesed, the Kvurat, the Tiferet. And Kilo Ayam Akum Afilu Lalot Aladat, Shishum Zar Ishtatef Imam Nam, Bilaze Utkana, and the Setah Ubaisel, Kimin Mahava. So the Jewish people become like a, a, a pathway or a channel or a pipe to go from one place to another. That's what the Jewish nation is that they're taking them from one level uh, to another. I mean, when they say taking them, I'm talking about the, the, the entire uh, people, population, the eight billion people. It depends on the Jewish people making it in that spiritual journey. And through the Jewish people, we can purify the entire uh, people. Of course, the question is, what are we purifying? Which means that every day there is more and more people getting clean and clear. Until they go to the right level, which is, so they could understand the pleasure and the peacefulness that exist within the roots of love the neighbor as thyself. Because then they will understand to, 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 it should say, Yachinu, Yavinu, Lachet Kaf Eschut, Yachinu, 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 Then they can take the whole universe from negative into positive, and they will be able uh, to bring the dwelling of the Creator of God uh, uh, into the world, and the negativity will go away. Now the question is, what does that mean, this clarification of selfishness into Ahavat Zulato, into unconditional love toward this friend? What is, what is the thing, to your opinion, that disturbing you from loving another human being? What is the thing about you that disturbing you to connect to the Creator? What is the number one thing that disturbing you with whatever you do in your life? And most of us don't know that yet, but doubts that you have on your husband, or doubts that you have on your wife, or doubts that you have on your um, a, a, a teacher, or doubts that you have on uh, a people, the same doubt will reflect about God. You cannot love people until you have full certainty about them. So when people tell you, I don't believe in you, but I love you, they don't love you. They love what you represent, but they don't love the you in you. Because to love the you and you, they have to have uh, absolute certainty. Now, what is absolute certainty? That's absolute certainty. When you don't see it, and you go for it. And it says in Kaf A, for that reason, the Torah was not being able to give to our father, Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Even they were perfect people. Because they were not able to practice love the neighbor and thyself, which is what the Torah founded on. That all the other mitzvot surrounded that one mitzvah. You cannot practice love the neighbor as thyself alone. You need to have more people. For that reason, for that reason, you need the whole nation. And this is only could happen after Yetziat Mitzrayim. What after Yetziat Mitzrayim? Well, what is a slave? A slave just want to get out of slavery. Does he think about the weather? No, oh, get me out of prison, get me out of slavery. Then I will take care of everything. And what does that mean? It means that you already have vada'ut about what you want, 
and you have vadaut also on what you don't want. Vadaut also, vadaut mean um, uh, certainty. Once you have vadaut about what you want and what you don't want, you already won most of the thing. שנעשו רואים לקיימה ואז נשאלו מקודם, כל אחד דרך אמור מסכים לקבל עצמו מצווה זו. Before they received the Torah, they was asked by God, is everybody agreed to accept love the neighbor as thyself? And they agree. They know all the cases that come in. And they know all the problems that might happen with the father-in-law, mother-in-law, friend, neighbor, wife, husband, kids. They accept vadaut, certainly. Then when he agreed to the thing, before they knew what happened, Torah was given to them. What did it say about Israel? We will do and then we will listen. Meaning we are absolutely full with certainty. Now, Rav Ashtag is raising a doubt. So how do we know that question was really asked uh, B'nai Israel because we don't find the Torah and where is it written that first they've been asked if they're ready to love one another and second where is the proof that they agree for that deal because it's not mentioned in the Torah you need to know that those things revealed in secret we know we find that as, as the invitation came from God by Moshe Rabbeinu in Parashat Yitro and it's written like this and now if you listen to me and you kept my covenant and you will be the chosen one and the example for all the, from all the nation because the land all belong to me that's what Hashem said and it continued you will be a kingdom of um, important priests. I don't like to say priests because then it sounds Christian. So it's have to be Kohanim, the people who serve in the Holy of Holies in uh, Bet HaMikdash. Bevoi Kadosh, you will be a holy nation. Those are the words you're going to speak to the Israelite, to the Jewish people. Vayavo Moshe, Moshe came. Vayikal Zikne Ha'am, and he read it in front of the elderly. Vayasem Nifnehem, et kol advarim ha'ila shel Tziva Hashem. And he put in front of them all what God commanded him. And all the nation answered together. Whatever God uh, say, we will do. And Moses brought the, the word, the agreement that the people of Israel has, took back to God. It seems when we read it, it doesn't fit. Because makes sense. Usually, when somebody asks you to do work, they need to explain to you what you need to do. Let's say you want to order a table. They have to tell you what size the table is, how, 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 what's the color you need to eat. They come schala. And then he tell you how much reward you're going to get if you make that table. Sharad in some akum lem kabel ayenba. Im lemayen or leaskim. And now, it's give a room and a space and a place to look into it if you want to do it or not. And here we see that Hashem is offering a certain spiritual job for the Jewish people. And he doesn't say what will be the reward. And he doesn't say what the type of job he's asking them to do. He just tell them if you listen to me. And you kept my covenant. He doesn't tell us what will be the voice, what will be the covenant. And then he, Hashem is saying, He will be the chosen and the example for the nation because the land belongs to me. There is no proof here. I don't know if he's asking us to be the chosen one or we are the chosen one. It's not clear. Why is Hashem have to end up the verse? The whole land belongs to me. When we look at the translation there, Unculus is uh, the column that translates the Torah to Aramek. Yonatan ben Uziel also Aramek. And Yerushalmi. The column of Farshim, all the commentary, Rashi, Rambam, and Hule. When they say, Li kola aretz, what does the commentary say? Nitrakim can have difficult time with it. Let the Kenneth Pshat the Katuv, it's difficult. 
ואבן עזרא סל בשם, בשם רבי מרנוס, is in the name of רבי מרנוס, אשר כי הזה הוראתו, אף על פי, הוא מפרש, so רבי מורנוס, in the name of אבן עזרא, in the name of רבי מורנוס, say this is an order, והייתם לסגולה מכל העמים, אף על פי שלי כל הארץ. You will be the chosen among all the nation, even the whole land belong to me. ולזה נותן גם דעתו עצמו האין שמתם. אולם פירושו זה אינו מותר מחז"ל, it's not good enough, say רבה שגיא. שאמרו כי משמש בארבע לשונות. We can use the word כי, כי meaning because of, או דילמה אלא דעה because of, we can translate it many way, ועוד מוסיף לשון חמישי, אף על פי, even though, so the word כי, we, know, we don't know what to do with it. Is it because of? Is it even though? Is it that's what's going to happen? How do we translate it in the Hebrew, the English? And then the verse is ending, you will be a chosen people to do the, the, the priest job in the holy temple in Jerusalem, and you will be a, a, a holy nation. We don't bring a proof here. Is it a mitzvah that I'm supposed to make an effort? Or is this a promise that what's going to happen to my nation, to my people? גם המילות האלו, ממלכת כהנים, what is that mean a kingdom of כהנים? אין לו פירוש ואין לו חבר בכל התנ"ך. You don't find that word again, so you can have גזרה שווה, I understand that. הוא בעיקר צריך להגדיר כאן, על כל פנים, איזה הבחן בין ממלכת כהנים בין גוי קדוש. Also, what's the difference between ממלכת כהנים and holy nation? What of them talk about nation? שהרי לפי המשמעות הרגילה של כהונה, הרי זו בחינת אחת עם קדושה. If we... put those two words together. So holiness and keuna, priesthood, or keuna, and kedusha, the same words according to that. Mainly in the sense that the people who are called the Goy Kadosh, and even the words of Goy Kadosh are the same. So it seems some of the words are additional for no reason. So how do we get out of this spekot? Olam. Al pi kol otam advarim shabdi alim nuro shem amarat kam, advarim aktuvim alim nukon tam. Tafukim aru lehem dugma masar matan al tzaha vaskama. It seems like, like there is a negotiation here. Now, we have to say that all the work of the Torah and the Torah and the Torah, Hashem is telling us all the work and the Torah and the Torah, whatever spiritual thing we need to do, and all the reward is supposed to get. The way that we worship the Torah, the way that we worship the Torah, the way that we worship, mitzvot, the way that we worship our spiritual journey, it seems that we become ממלכת כהנים, it seems that we become a kingdom of כהנים. כי ממלכת כהנים פירושה שתהיו כולכם מקדון הגדולות כמו כהנים. And all of you will be like כהנים, not just some of you. דהיינו כמו שהכהנים אין להם חלק בנחלה ושום קנאים מגשמים בארץ. דהיינו like בכהנים, אין דה לוין, as you know, don't have a piece of property, physical piece of property בארץ, in the land, כי השם הוא נחלתם. Because God is their kingdom. So כהן doesn't have a land like other people. In, in Eretz Israel. Can tell all the nations in general. All the nations will be working this way. That all the land will be belong to Hashem. There is no reason to deal with the land. The only reason you, you are on the land is to do spiritual work between you and God and to chase your friend to see if they need something. So you will practice the love the neighbor and thyself. שלא יחסר כלום במשאלתו באופן שלא יהיה לשום פרט בדיוק על פרט צרכי עצמו. שיהיו בביזי עם כל האנשים שלכם, הם יהיו מפולפים עם כל הדין. שבאופן זה נמצאו אפילו עבודות של חולים, קצירה וזירה מדומה. כמו זה, אפילו כשאתם עובדים בארץ, ומתכננים את הארץ, ומתכננים את הארץ, ומתכננים את הארץ, ומתכננים את הארץ, נבחנים ממש בדוגמת עבודת הקרבנות. זה יהיה בדיוק exactly כמו like שקרפיים דברים בכל הטמפל, שהכהנים היו עושים בבית המקדש. קיבלתי עצם מצווה של הקרבות עולה לשם, שמצוות עשה. מה לי מתקיים במצוות עשה של ואהבת לך כמוך? זה שהקצוע של דאו כדי להכיל זו לטוב באמת, כי הוא באמת מקריב כמובן להשם. So what Hashem tried to teach us here, the same way that the Kohanim sacrifice things in the Holy Temple because it's ציווי השם, the same thing when you go to harvest your wheat and barley, you are thinking about your neighbors and friends how to feed them. And because of that, you are wor- worship השם. ולא עוד אלא שהסברה נותנת את השם במצוות עשה של ואהבת לך כמוך, for me will learn, for that opinion will learn, that doing the mitzvah of love the neighbor of the self, she is way more important than sacrifice something in the temple. My friend, I will end it here until tomorrow, <coughs> but 
What are we getting from it? Until we, we listen to the whole answer tomorrow. We need to understand that when it's come to mitzvot Hashem, certainty is the name of the game. People that been told that they have doubts and they don't see it. Whatever it is, let's say you marry for, I don't know, 10 years and your wife has doubts about you or your husband has doubts about you. That doubt is not going anywhere until you realize you have doubts. The beginning of curing of a doubt is I have a doubt. As it says in the 12th step, what is the cure of addiction? What is the first step in 12th step? Admit you have an addiction. Admit you have doubts. Unfortunately, when two people have doubts, usually when I see a marriage, the two sides have doubts, I always tell them get divorced, it's a mitzvah. There is no point to stay together with a person who doubts you and you doubting them. If they're always going to bring a reasoning for why you're not doing well, for why they're doubting you. So they will find the reason. It's like I found out uh, this guy lost uh, last month, he lost about 300,000. <clears> and he was very stressed. And uh, when I talked to the couple, I said, what's going on? So, so the wife tell him. He tells the wife she has doubts. You know what she answered? No, it's not my doubts. It's me seeing you last week. We were in Miami Beach. And you look at the girls with the bikini. And because of that, you lost money. That's what he told him, actually. So I look at her and said, well, don't you think that doubts is about him? Like you are now doubting his ability? She said, no. I'm telling him what it is. So he's doubting her, she doubting him, get divorced. Why killing each other? Why killing your kids? It's better out there for you. There is a better partner out there for you. Get out of your marriage if it's bad. Don't stay in a marriage if it's bad. Don't stay in a synagogue when it's bad. Don't stay with the disease if it's killing you. Get out of it. Rav Ashtag is explained to us something tremendous about Avodat Hashem. If a person is not ready to go with certainty, then the minimum he can do or she can do to admit that they have doubts. And if they don't, my advice to you, stay out of those, from those people. Not only they will destroy their life, they will destroy your life. Stay away from them. If there is one type of people you want to run away from, it's people with uncertainty. Have a good day till tomorrow. Bye.